I'm Marissa Sarbach in Phoenix, Arizona. More than two years after 19-year-old Rachel Hansen was shot and killed in her Gilbert apartment, her family still doesn't have any answers. They've now hired a private investigators to help get some answers and closure in her case. We are still working to get answers in Rachel's case and find justice for her. No leads, no motive, no witnesses, and no answers. That's what Kim Hansen says she's been dealing with more than two years since her 19-year-old daughter Rachel was shot and killed in her Gilbert apartment. Police say the teen was able to make a 911 call, saying an unknown person shot her. Rachel later died. Even today, I talked to somebody that lives right in Gilbert, less than two miles from where this tragedy happened, and they had not heard about the case. That is what just is so hard for me to accept and understand. The case was transferred to silent witness in February, but the Hansen family is still frustrated by the lack of answers, so they hired a private investigator. On a case like this where you've, it's, I mean, it's essentially gone somewhat cold, it, it would be great to get the, the neighborhood and the community involved. Justin Yentes released an interview with Kim and it generated new interest in the case, but not enough to put together all the pieces of Rachel's life. Adolescents generally don't share everything with their parents. So the information that, that Kim and, and her husband have isn't going to be the entirety of Rachel's life. And there could be other people that know her or know people that she knew or know other participants in the case that would have information that we could provide. Spreading Rachel's story online and in the news keeps her name on people's minds. Justin says the more recognition a case gets, the more likely someone shares new information. You saw what happened with the uh, with the Preston Lord case out here in Gilbert, where the entire community came together. There was orange ribbons lining the streets, and we want that same thing for Rachel. Kim says strangers are now stepping in, and it means the world to her. Some groups are starting to tie white ribbons around trees in honor of Rachel, white for her innocence, and I'm so grateful for that. I respect that so much, and I'm just hoping and praying that other people, other groups can get involved and help. Marissa Sarbach, ABC 15, Arizona.